the uh, CICADA is the Senior Citizens uh, Action for uh, Development and Nation Building. In accord, we have this uh, in coordination with other government agencies. So, Bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you sa pag-click ng aking video. Good day po sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Sa mga bagong viewers at napadaan lang, by the way, I'm Tita Eda. Welcome to my channel. Ang channel na maghahatid sa iyo ng dagdag kaalaman tungkol sa government services, bagong mga balita at informative videos na galing sa legit na resources. Mag-subscribe na para updated ka. Social pension also includes the uh, Centenarian Act. Give a uh benefit for the senior citizens just in case uh, uh, eventually which will be uh, uh, transferred to us from the SWD uh, and then we have the CICADNA which will be the main topic for this uh, press conference. Uh, the uh, CICADNA is the senior citizens uh, action for uh, development and nation building. In accord we have this uh, in coordination with other government agencies so uh, we're holding uh, national uh, advisory uh, body uh, we are convening this uh, body so that uh, we can have uh, the uh, essence of uh, the uh, various uh, laws uh, reviewed like the RA 9994 uh, which we recently reviewed uh, for the purpose of uh, updating the uh, uh, benefits and privileges of the senior citizens. We also have this this uh, PACE, -E, uh, which is the uh, uh, related to the communication plan of the uh, uh, commission. We have the IMICT related to uh, information communication and technology, wherein uh, we're focusing on the database online database uh, registration of all senior citizens. Uh, if you will look at the uh, website, uh, the uh, NCSC address, uh, you can find ncsc.gov.ph. Uh, you can see there the uh, uh, current uh, number of senior citizens uh, registering online. It is more than uh, 3 million now, 3.2 million. So we have also the WERB or the uh, Wellness Health um, uh, emergency response uh, and other benefits for our senior citizens and uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, risk assessment uh, our RASAM uh, and the uh, secure for the uh, uh, rights and benefits of the senior citizens Would you like to respond on the second? Like we said we would like to emphasize over the issue of productivity and being productive of the senior citizens. And that's why we're saying the senior citizens are already productive, but we want us more to be productive because we would like to offer society a last chance. You know, before, before the departure, can't you not ask us what we know, what we are good at, and what we can do more? so that uh, we would be able to transfer not only skills, knowledge, experiences, and wisdom, but more to the next generation. So, yan po yung gusto namin pag-usapan ngayon. Of course, we, as we want to be more productive, uh, we also want some concessions. Like, baka naman pwede nating i-change yung re retirement law. Kasi, nakikita ko, aspiring pa lang si DDG Cat. But when the time comes, then we'll be asking ourselves, retired na ako, anong sunod na gagawin ko? And you have other jurisdictions. You have Europe and other parts of uh, Asia and even Americas na pwedeng makapag-retire three times. Di ba? In our case, isang beses lang. Mag-resign ka man sa gobyerno at mag-transfer ka sa Another office of government, but isang re retirement lang yan. Mag-resign ka man sa isang private corporation, mag-transfer ka to another corporation, isang retirement lang yan. Maybe we can design programs where you have, when you retire at age 45, you can already get to your retirement. 
and then apply for another work, receive your retirement, receive your salary, and then retire at 65 and you will have two retirements. And even at 80, you can still work. So I, I met a guy who's still working at 80. His work is safety officer. So why are we preventing ourselves to utilize our scarce resource called human resource? So ito po yung gusto namin pag-usapan ngayon. And, uh, maybe we should be ready to be answering questions already or would you want some details pa? Uh, yeah, sige, go ahead. If we can... If we can just ano po siguro, uh, introduce the uh, one of our core um, uh, program in the NCSC or what we call the SECADNA or the Senior Citizens Action for Development and Nation Building. Actually, uh, just this week, uh, last Monday, we held our uh, workshop for this uh, SECADNA. So the rationale behind this is to uh, stems from the acknowledgement of the significant role the senior citizens play in the, so in the society and the family structure. It also recognizes the senior citizens as pillars of community with a wealth of experience, knowledge, and skills to contribute to the uh, betterment of the nation. The third one is that it seeks to harness these valuable resources by establishing the uh, senior citizens database, as I mentioned earlier providing a holistic view of the needs of the senior citizens, such as health, legal, economic, and uh, capacity-related capacity needs. We have, uh, during the workshop, we were able to gather from the participants nine key approaches or projects, inclusive mainstreaming of senior citizens' advocacies, second, bridging the digital gap or divide, Third is volunteerism. Fourth, multiple, uh, multiple retirement. Five, accessibility. Six, strengthening of senior citizens' organizations. Seven, profiling of senior citizens. Eight, medical insurance for senior citizens. And uh, the, the last is public and private enterprise development, which our chair would like to uh, discuss, sir. Well, uh just brass tacks lang naman ang gusto kong mangyari. Just, just to bring to, to, to the issues. For a long time, wala pong baha ang EDSA. Tama kaya? But in the last events, nagbaha ang EDSA. So, that leads us to questioning, bakit kaya? Bakit nagbaha ang EDSA? And I think uh, the seniors can very much help. So, ito po yung isang nakikita namin that uh, the seniors with their knowledge and skills and wisdom may be able to earn some more by making proposals on how development can be addressed. Not just the barangays, not just the municipalities, but the whole country. Talk about how the West Philippine Sea, the seas that we have, producing food and all. A lot of things can be done if we tap the senior citizens who, by the way, is being forced into retirement by a law. Di ba? At 65, prosigido ka nang mag-retire. So we would like to say, baka naman pwede pa nating gamitin yung abilidad. Because what we learn in college is resources are scarce. We must be efficient in using our scarce resources. But isn't it our human resources are also scarce? And we must efficiently use our human resources. Why put a cap over our strength, our efforts, our inventiveness. And so, there it is. Uh, just in sum, because if you go into a breakdown mo to, syempre, si senior citizen are very good at governance, therefore development, and therefore enterprises, and therefore livelihood, and therefore, syempre, yung concern namin, na pag usapan namin ni DDG Cut is yung digital divide. Eh, hindi daw marunong si senior citizen sa digitization and all. But, but, kaya yan. You know, the Philippines has so much in terms of OFW. Pagka yung OFW ay makipag-usap kay parents dito sa Pilipinas, paano na ang pag-uusap? Telepono lang ba? Hindi na. Zoom, messenger. And therefore, 
baka madaling matuto si senior citizen bigyan lang ng opportunity yeah so I, I i think i've said so much i was actually just hoping that we will be able to convince the public and we would like to thank our media friends and pia and uh ddg cat for giving us an opportunity to asking the public please stop the senior citizen gamitin yung abilidad ng senior citizen dahil mas gustong gusto nilang magbigay in fact uh, where we are strong storytelling <laughs> kasi ano eh wala kang oras na eh pin pinwersa ka nang mag-retire so storytelling but then again try to pick the lessons learned from this storytelling a lot of things can be gleaned a lot of things can be developed if sa tingin mo natulungan ka ng video ko na ito nakasave ka sa oras mo you can click yung thanks button at any amount ay malaking help sa paggrow ng channel ko yun lang po muna ang aking update sana ay nakatulong na dagdag kaalaman ang aking shinare today ang goal ng aking channel ay mag-create ng awareness kung ganitong mga topic ang gusto mo panoorin mo ang mga videos ko na ito Thanks for watching! Kung may kapamilya, kaibigan o kakilala sa tingin mo ay magiging interesado sa video, please share or tag sila sa comment section. At syempre, if nagustuhan mo ang video, ilike mo na ito at subscribe ka na din. As always, feel free to write your questions, comments, and opinions respectfully. And continue to be a blessing and stay safe!